All right, welcome back to our show. Joe Zagacki, Don Bailey Jr. And we are here until 8 o'clock. And on Saturday, it's Miami and Notre Dame. We'll have that one for you at 3.30. But uh, we're going to uh, step away from football for a couple of minutes. Good, I need a timeout. You're getting we're me going on this Notre Dame game. We're going to talk about <laughs> another kind of football. University of Miami women's soccer. And joining us is team captain Shannon McCarthy. And they've had a heck of a season. Got one game to go in the regular season. But the University of Miami is going to go to the ACC tournament. Not all the teams go to the ACC tournament. They've qualified. Had a big win yesterday in double overtime. Two to one over uh, Virginia Tech, right? Yes. Jane McCarthy's with us. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah. How are you? Good, good. I didn't call the game, then you won. I must have been the jinx. <laughs> you must have been. We won other games when yeah. you were there. That's true. That's right. Yeah. Uh, what about yesterday's game? Double overtime. What a thriller, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just so many emotions with it being senior day and having everyone's family there. It was, I mean, just such a blessing to, you know, be able to have that opportunity and, you know, feel all the love from other teammates and you don't lose on senior day. That's no. just one thing you don't do. Your uh, mom and dad were there, but yeah. they're here all the time, right? A lot? They trade off. Trade off? So okay. they have to pick their favorite between me and my younger brother who okay. gets to come to Florida, who gets to stay at home with him. All right. So <laughs> what was that like for you though yesterday to wrap it all up? How emotional was it for you? Gosh, it was a roller coaster. I, you know, graduated high school early. I didn't have a senior day like most traditional athletes do. You get in high school and then you come to college, you get in college. So that was kind of my first and last one. And to have them both here was absolutely incredible. Shannon, what made you decide to come from Michigan to Miami? It's a pretty, yeah. pretty, lo pretty long trek to come down here and play soccer. You flew Definitely. over a lot of places you could have played. Yeah, I, uh, I had the option to, you know, stay really close to home or come here and this conference is just, you know, the absolute best. It's the most competitive, it's the most elite. And so being able to compete every week, every weekend with the best athletes in college soccer is definitely what made me, you know, made that choice very easy. And the weather helps too, the winters <laughs> definitely so, help. So if you like minutes, I'd say you're the happiest person out there, right? You've got more minutes than everybody through, <laughs> yeah. every, through all the matches, correct? Yeah. Every minute. You played, you played every, every minute. single minute. 1,556 so. minutes. Didn't it's come off the field. <laughs> no, I, guess I don't not. think you want to come off, though. I have, I kind of you know, getting to know like you. You don't want to Derek come Jeter off. of University of Miami Soccer. I mean, I you know I gotta do whatever I can to help the team win. At the end of the day, it's you know there's people putting in a lot of minutes, and you know whether you come off or not, every minute's kind of valuable. Um, so it's just a really it's a really good opportunity, though. Uh, you had five conference wins, which is mm -hmm. the first time the University of Miami's had five conference wins in uh, women's soccer in any conference. And to get five in the ACC, uh, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, very challenging. Yeah. What has it been like to, to break through this year for the team? Gosh, it's incredible because, you know, being here for five years, we haven't done this since my freshman year, which seems like it was ages ago now. But we have worked so incredibly hard and overcome individual adversity, team adversity, uh, you name it, we've kind of gone through it and we haven't gone down and we haven't stopped swinging. So now it's finally, you know, we're reaping what we're sowing and it's a true testament to our coaching staff, everything that they've invested in us and all the work that we've put in here in practice and then outside of practice. And then as you know, we kind of go home for summer or different breaks, just the work that keeps getting put in through our girls and it's really, Gosh, it's, I'm at a loss for words almost, like it's so emotional. Well, I'm gonna, I, I don't want to get too emotional over this, but <laughs> how emotional do you get w about beating ranked teams? I mean, that's the ultimate, right? I mean, confidence yeah. builder in beating a ranked team, especially if they're in your conference. Yeah, I mean, it seems, I mean, every team in our conference is, has some kind of great ranking. It feels, you know, it's, whether it's like AP poll or coaches poll or like, you know, different within our conference or NCAA, RPI, everyone's like up there so you know you're getting the best of the best week in and week out and so we almost get we get used to it um you know whether they're you know number two in the country like uva was or whether they're number 25 in the country like virginia tech it's you know we go in with the same mentality like we can expect to win games that was a great win earlier in the year against virginia mm -hmm. the other thing about playing teams in this conference is uh 
a lot of these teams have players that are in the United States national uh, mm -hmm. pool of players. Mm -hmm. And that pool, you know, they, they get called up every now and then to play mm -hmm. for the national team. So you are going up against yeah. some of the best that this country has to offer. Yeah, and not even the U.S., like any this other country, right. you name That's it. Right. It's hard to say it's a load of players from, Yeah, right? different yeah. countries. Yeah, it's, it's really, like, you know, it's like a quest for excellence almost. Like, you know, you know, we can approach it with, you, I know she's going to give her best, like, I'm going to give my best. We're both going to leave this field better players than we were than when we came on the field. And, you know, for her individual aspirations, my individual aspirations, like, we're helping each other you know, so can become better. So we're not, like, we're competitive, but at the end of the day, we're not en en enemies, like, just mm -hmm. competitors for that moment, which is really cool. That'll change when you get in the pros. See, then they're enemies. No, I'm right. kidding. <laughs> 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 I'm kidding. So Thursday, you're going to Notre Dame, right? Is, yeah. there, is that correct, right? You got, Absolutely. You're gonna, so you're going you're gonna to start You're gonna start the Canes rolling in South mm -hmm. Bend. Yeah. Should be an interesting game. They're number 14, speaking of ranked. Right, yeah, that's what they were last year. And that fateful night <laughs> last season when we beat them at home. So it's, uh, you know, Notre Dame always gives us a great game, and I have to really tip my hat to them and their program. Like, no matter, you know, who it is, like, in what position, they have great kids, and, you know, we, we're excited. We match up very well with them. We should tell uh, our listeners, because there are a lot of listeners out there that uh, – have daughters that want to go play soccer at a major university mm -hmm. and uh, so you are a fifth year senior yes right? and let's see practice starts in the summer so in August so you practice from August until mm -hmm. November let's say right eight o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning no seven o'clock in the morning seven thirty seven thirty in the morning the give her that half hour <laughs> okay. and then there's uh there's when the season's over there's a lot of conditioning then there's like a little bit of a spring season right mm -hmm. so you got to keep that going and then mm -hmm. there's school all involved involved during and, that and yeah. in december you're going to walk out of here with a master's degree yes right yeah um, that's pretty good congratulations thank you thank mom you. and dad maybe, happy about that i hope so right. <laughs> so take us through uh how someone can manage that Gosh, I am still trying to figure it out <laughs> a little bit. I've figured out what's worked for me. Um, and it's been, you know, just that time management piece. It's kind of like, it's one of those transferable skills that you're able to take anywhere with you. And being a college student athlete is the best way, I think, to hone in on that. Um, but it's certainly not easy when you are, you know, balancing the demands of, what it means to be a big time athlete and then at this university you're a big time college student too like you have massive academic uh, requirements and it's just and there is getting, college life too there, now. yeah <laughs> you know well, you have Miami, to kind of right? rank them a little bit um you know but that that whole social aspect it's like you know you have your team you have you have your team on the field and then you're you form that sisterhood you want to be around them so whether it's I don't know whether it's going to the beach or if you're, you know, making it in a real basketball team like we did. You're always kind of doing something with them, which is, you know, that sisterhood is um, one of the most valuable parts of it all. So we go back to the teamwork, and mm -hmm. you're a couple, <laughs> you're two months away from graduating yeah. with your master's. Mm -hmm. What's next? You talked to us off the air about professional soccer. That's something that's in your mind that yes, you want to do. And for mm -hmm. some reason, I think you'll succeed at that. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. What, uh, what sparked you to be, to say, I want to play professional soccer? That, that doesn't just happen in the last month. No, no. It's been, it's, it's kind of been like a lifetime thing. And yeah. then I, you know, I feel like I'd really put that on my heart. Uh, my sophomore year when I was, I was battling some health issues that took me out of that season and I was really finding my kind of finding my walk um, with Christ and it was it was one morning when I actually you know got up to run and I ran this really hard fitness test and I'm like wow like you know if I can do this and I'm still battling everything that I'm battling right now like why can't I keep this up you know I don't want to be in a position where you know I'm standing on the field at you know my last game and it's really truly is my last game 
and you know it, yes it's going to be my last game in green and orange but it doesn't have to necessarily be my last game my last competitive game of my lifetime you ever think of coaching well, oh absolutely you're straight in her wheelhouse yeah, oh, absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I, yes i that I was feel, a loaded question there <laughs> i feel very compelled to give back to the game that has done so much for me I, you know, a lot of people have asked me that, like, what do you want to do when you're done playing? And my dream job is to is to coach and, you know, be a part of the Athletes in Action Ministry here that we have on campus um, part-time. So to be an assistant coach and kind of get the sport aspect and then also get the ministry aspect. For some definitely. reason, I think your dreams will come true. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. Your major was, or uh, is, Public relations? Uh, I got my undergrad in public uh, relations, right, yeah. and then I'm getting my master's in sports administration. Yeah, so all those are all really promising avenues. No, I want to coach. <laughs> 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 it's the bug. I She's been bitten too. by the competitive yeah. bug. She can't <laughs> help it. All right. So what we have left is Notre Dame, mm -hmm. then the ACC tournament. Correct. And then uh, we're optimistic about the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Because generally, mm -hmm. if you make the ACC tournament, you get move forward to the, to the NCAA mm -hmm. tournament. So, well, and you played every minute. Uh, Shannon is a defender, which means she's running up and down the field and also uh, keeping the, uh, doing a good job of keeping the ball out of the back of the net. Mm -hmm. Doing everything I can. <laughs> the whole back line has been, you guys have been together for a long time, right? Oh yeah, we have a very, very good thing going. I mean, yeah. those girls are so fun to play with. Um, you know, and to have Fallon, our goalie, behind us as well with that commanding presence, we really, we truly feel like it's, we're like a brick wall. Like, we like to call each ourselves the dark side. You know, like, nothing's getting by us. Um, and it's, you know, just very competitive, like, no shot, no cross mentality back there that we take to heart, which is awesome. All right, very good. Thanks for being with us here tonight. No problem. Thanks for having me. Great All right. job. That's uh, Hurricanes defender, team captain Shannon McCarthy joining us. And we'll continue on the Hurricane Hotline on Miami Sports Radio 560 WQAM.